Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would talk about a specific movie. I think as collectors we, we spend time collecting and then we spend time watching movies. So I'm slowly going through my collection, watching as many movies and TV shows as I can, which I know for many of us can be a challenge, but I wanted to start kind of a new feature where I'm going to talk about uh, theater plays that make it to film. And the first one I want to talk about is this one, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I'm just going to show the front and the back of this Blu-ray. And this is a film, um, it's a film version of a David Mamet play of the same name. And I just want to talk briefly about this in just my viewing experience. This is a, this is a film that I've seen a number of different times. I first saw the movie when it came out in 1992 in a movie theater in New York City, which was a great experience um, to see the film there. And then I've seen it on VHS, I've seen it on streaming services, and now I have the Blu-ray. And uh, it's, a, it's basically, I'm not going to give away anything here, uh, I just talk high level about the plot and some of the characters, uh, because I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen this movie. But it's basically a story about real estate uh, salesmen and kind of the pressure that they're under and the uh, intense um, interactions that they have with each other and with their bosses and with the whole process of selling real estate, including interacting with uh, customers as well. If you remember, if you have seen this film, it features a famous scene with Alec Baldwin, who was only in the movie for a short period of time for his always be closing speech, very famous speech in the play and in the movie. and. As far as the cast goes, this is a stellar cast. One of the reasons I really love this movie is for the cast. Let me just read this. Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, Ed Harris, Alan Arkin, and Kevin Spacey. Amazing cast, amazing performances. So if you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend it. Um, there are some specific things about theater on film, and I just want to talk about those briefly as well. And in that, in that context, I wanted to give you maybe three reasons you might like to see this film. One of them is for... David Mamet himself, right? So David Mamet wrote the screenplay for this. It was obviously based on his play. But if you like David Mamet, I think this is one of the reasons to watch this movie. The dialogue is very quick and intense, and the characterizations are just amazing in, in his plays and in his movies. And I just wanted to read a few of the, of the other things that he's done. Um, he has written plays, of course, but also um, some screenplays for... Um, a movie called House of Games, which I believe is on the Criterion Collection, or there's a Criterion Collection release of that. The Untouchables, um, Homicide, which he was a director for, um, also um, Hoffa, which he was a producer on, um, Oleana, which I also have a DVD of that and may talk about that uh, particular movie and play on, on another video. Vanya on 42nd Street, which is an adaptation of a Chekhov play. Um, Wag the Dog, The Spanish Prisoner, which is a great movie. The Edge. Ronin. So, the, so he's done a lot of those movies. So if you like those movies, you're probably going to like Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, which again is from 1992. The other reason I think you might like this movie is if you actually go to and really enjoy live theater. This is very much like a theater play because it's based on that. And the scenes take place in, in uh, just a couple different locations because as you might imagine, they have to expand things for the film. But for the most part, the film is taking place in one room or one building with multiple rooms. Um, also, to give you that type of theater experience, um, there's a lot of close-ups and a lot of two-character interactions, which you might see in a theater play. So those things, if you like live theater and if you're used to seeing those types of intense interactions with characters, that's another reason I think you would probably like this movie. And the third reason I think you would like this movie is for the music and for the visual aspects of it. The music is amazing right from the opening uh, theme and it feels almost like a film noir movie. Um, and the lighting and the colors and it's raining for, I, I believe the whole movie it's raining. And so you get the sense that you're in sort of a, a film noir environment. Um, the characters are wearing large uh, trench coats in many cases. There's shadows. Um, it, it specifically in the beginning of the movie too, there are um, colors like red and blue and um, uh, window coverings that 
remind me of uh, uh, film noir and uh, there are scenes that take place in a car and that take place in the main office. There's a bar across the street where scenes take place and people smoking cigarettes and things like that that again remind me of a film noir uh, style movie. So. so those are three reasons that I think you might like this film, Glen Gary Glen Ross. Highly recommended. I've seen it many, many times. It's one of my favorites. If you like this video, click on like. If you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments below or ask a question. I have quite a few movies that are uh, a film version of, of a play, and th those are part of my collection, and I really enjoy watching those. If you have a favorite of that particular genre, let me know in the comments below, maybe something I, the, that I don't have in my collection or that I would be interested in watching. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. I hope everyone is safe and well, and I'll see you next time.